Thank you for staying with us. And now on health, this Tuesday morning, we have Dr. Remy Lekundurojai. Now she's a physiotherapist for over 33 years. Uh, some of you uh, were not born when she started the practice. Now, well, she's here on the show to discuss what exactly do physiotherapists do. Now, she is the clinical director for Special Olympics Fun Fitness Nigeria and the owner of uh, Tafo Rehab Pelvic and Orthopedic Wellness Clinic. It's great to have you, Doctor. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. Good morning. So, let's get straight to it. Yeah. Who's a physiotherapist? Okay. Well, physiotherapists are licensed and they're professionals who train evidence-based practice to work on restoration and function of patients who've had injuries, disease, or in nowadays in a, the wellness field as well, to get somebody to their optimum function. I like what you said, licensed. Because I know a number of people that just come and they know how to press bone. And they say, oh, if I can massage you small, I'm a physiotherapist. Thank you. So <laughs> let's what, talk about that. What are we, what are physiotherapists not? We're mm. not masseuse. Mm. We don't massage. <laughs> don't call, you shouldn't go to, physiotherapy is one of the many skills. Mm. Physiotherapy, amongst all the tools that we practice, massage is one of them. One of the many. It's one of many techniques that we can use mm. to treat a patient. Because mm. I've met some people who come and say, okay, I'm a massage, I want to do physiotherapy on you. No, uh, You no. know, and all of that. And when you employ a, a physiotherapist, we have a board. Mm. We have a list of licensed practitioners. You can go online and you can check. So we, we're encouraging people. There are a lot of people who learn by looking mm. and so maybe they've walked around a therapist for a while so now they say they're a therapist so we're trying to at least give the profession the what it's due okay. so we are licensed mm. we do go to school for a long time mm -hmm. and we are specialists in what we do and we are professionals in All what right. we do now why would anyone someone need a physiotherapist for many reasons there are different aspects of physiotherapy okay. i will list some I mean, you, you have a physiotherapist who works for pediatrics, you have orthopedics, you have pelvic rehabilitation or women's health, we have neurology, you have sports injury, you have work, the work environment where therapists go in, assess, is your desk high enough for your chair so you don't, you're not leaning over your computer, mm. ergonomics. Mm. Th there are therapists who specialize in ergonomics mm. and workspace, so industrial kind of like therapists. And, I mean, there's so many other areas. Um, I'm trying to think, those are the, pr the ones that most people will hear about, yeah, the right. orthopedics, neurology, pediatrics, women's health, um, neurology, when patient has a stroke, so okay. those kind of areas. So there's really no area that the therapist cannot work cannot in. Work it. Now, um, there's something that you got that really got uh, piqued my interest. You talk so well. I look at the way I'm bending over to listen to you. How is my, you call it ergonomics? Yeah? Ergonomics. Ergonomics. How is my ergonomical <laughs> position at this point in time? How's am your I, posture? How's, how's your my posture? posture? How okay, am I, is it, this okay? When you sit, you're supposed to sit with your back erect. So if you're sitting in a chair, you want to make sure you're all the way into the back of the chair because that forces you upright. But if you're all the way forward and you have a lot of space, you're going to slump. Olamide and Shegun, share you can hear. Well, for the, for, because of a, a professional, I have a backpack here where my mic is. So a number of times, if I have to go back, they will tell me to come Lean up because, yes, because of the job that I have to do. But if you are not on air or anything and you're sitting down, like you said, the best thing is to lean back and, and have the back support. Back support. Yes. Okay, so th th that would also, there are some chairs, that would, that would mean that there are some chairs that are not the best uh, to sit on, right? Yeah, yeah. How, how can one make how such a you, decision? Okay, what I always say, if you're at a desk, um, you're, you're, and you sit at your desk, your table should actually be level with your elbow. Wonderful. So now this, this should is be the, the, height, of the your, height of your table. Yes, oh. right like this. If you're sitting, feet planted, mm. That should be the perfect height. Someone I'm thinking of now, Halima, one of my producers, your, your table is too high, yo, for where you're sitting. <laughs> uh, I would do some. So I've, those, I've, I've the, spoken to a physiotherapist the, today. specialists who do that, uh, who work in that area, and that's okay. what they literally do. Go around the workspace and okay. assess where you're sitting, where you sit positioning, is it high enough? I mean, my husband is six foot four, so he does dishes oh. and he has backache because he has to lean forward. 
because the sink is fine for me, but not for him. Now so, let's look at our kitchen here. <laughs> you can see it directly there. Ma Mazino is what now? Mazino is what? Mazino, what are you? 5'12"? Yeah, 6'2". Mazino is 6'2". He had to shout. Um, a chef, I don't know. Titi, Titi, what? Titi is like 5'11"? Five, 5'9"? Five, 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 look at that, the, the, the wall you can see now. From, from that, from that uh, what, yeah, okay. Let's, let's take a look at that kitchen now. That, that length, or what, what's the average height for so that? So typically, if you're standing, the, the, the surface should be level with your hip. hip. Oh, Mazino, right. get out from that kitchen. <laughs> now! Uh, Mary, ah, oh, wonderful. Mary, let's let's uh, let, let's let's audition you now. Wait, Mary, don't, don't rush, don't rush. Stand there first. Look at Mary, the beautiful lady in uh, orange. Is is her hip on the same level? Is it is it no. is she okay? She's too tall. She's too tall. That's Mary, it. she just squatted. That's it. That would be the perfect height for her. Okay, Mary, Mary, take off your shoes, please. <laughs> please. And then our beautiful <laughs> chef, our beautiful chef. Yeah. Well, what, be what about our beautiful outside, chef? Is she? No, I think she's about the right. Okay, I mean, she's I'm about just the right. Guesstimating. Okay. 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 All right. Wonderful. So now that's about sitting. Uh, now, when people sit for too long, a number of times, it starts causing issues when they stand up and all of that. How would you manage somebody in an office who sits for a very long time? How would you? What would you? What advice would you give when it comes to sitting? People who live a sedentary life, who don't move around so much. Actually, what we've discovered with COVID, we've seen a lot of patients with actually upper back pain. From mm. everybody's at a desk, everybody's virtual, everybody's you know at a, doing a lot of screen time. Mm. So one thing I always recommend: whatever position you're in. After like 20 minutes, do the opposite. So you can stretch backwards or even just sitting and standing. Mm. Changing your position every 20 minutes. Every it can 20 be just minutes. shifting from side to side. Oh, wonderful. Just and then this would also apply for driving in Lagos. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. So well, same thing in a car. You can't stand up. You can't go anywhere. But just changing your position mm. in your seat helps. All right. And now, you know, if you've been sitting like this for a long time, just stretching your back in the opposite direction. Wonderful. Now, when it comes to physiotherapy and all that, we know, yes, there's a lot of physical touch. Is there any way diet or something like that helps when it comes to physiotherapy? When it comes to good health, okay. all of these things are part of it. Okay. So let me, let me, physiotherapy, we deal with, it's a very much, uh, as you see, because of the name, in the Europeans, they say physiotherapy. The Americans say physical therapy. Okay. So it's very much about dealing with the muscles, the muscles and the bones. And the bones. And so basically, when, when you look at what we do, is movement. We're movement. movement specialists. Wonderful. Now, this brings me to the question. Now, a number of people, they want to go work out. They just head up to the gym, hit the gym without any professional maybe uh, advice on what to do. How, is, it, is it important for one to see a phys or talk to a physiotherapist before hitting the gym to determine what kind of workout might suit you the best? That, in the ideal world, that would be great. Okay. But it's not feasible most times. Most times. But what I say to people is when you go to exercise, if you've never exercised before, start little. Don't go to the gym for the first time and be there for two, three hours. Mm. You're not going to be able to wake up the next morning because mm. everything is going to hurt. Mm. And that's how people stop because they do too much in the beginning and then they can't, continue. they can't continue. So do a little bit, even if it's 30 minutes aerobic exercise and then 30 minutes doing, when I say weightlifting, like one or two pounds or three pounds, if mm. you've never done it before. Mm. So you start low and gradually build up build on what up you do. To where you're going to. Now what if you have a particular, um, maybe so a wrist pain? I, have I was just gonna say that. If you already have a medical condition. Condition, exactly. Then yes. It would be very wide. Because sometimes we have patients who, we've, who box and they have injury. Piece? Boxing. Okay, who boxing. box? Oh. Yeah. Who box? <laughs> okay. And All some right. of them box for fitness, not yeah. just competitions. But, yeah. And for those, they, they, you, they do injure because it's a repetitive sport. And mm. you know, anybody who does sports does have injuries at some point sometimes. Mm. So what we recommend is your physiotherapist will then advise you how to back off and slowly build back up to that sport. Mm. And the exercises they can give you can be tailored to your sports. Okay. And they can tell you, okay, if you have a back problem, this and this and this exercise you can't do. You have a lot of trainers in gyms who don't have that knowledge. They have the knowledge of how for you to set up a working program for you to work out. 
but sometimes they don't have the anatomical and physiological knowledge and the medical aspect of it to say how to alter an exercise mm. to prevent you re-injuring yourself. yourself. Wow, Doctor, I have one thing, we have to go now, but one thing I'm happy about is that you're going to be with us a whole month of February, so there's so much that we can learn from you. Yes. I really appreciate you. Thank you pleasure. so much, Doctor. Thank you very much. I look forward much. to what we're talking about and what physiotherapy is not. I hope you were able to learn something there.